there, Peregrine Falcon. That guy's favorite perch, right by the O'Brien substation, just off of 72nd Avenue South, Kent, Washington. And this one's preening the feathers. Sunlight's coming in good now. So watch him for a little bit. He's been showing up on a regular basis. He has a place to roost. We figure it's under the bridge that goes over the railroad tracks, about a block and a half south of here. And it's just like a cliff to him. And it's all dry. He's not afraid of the trains. And I arranged that place to stay out of the weather. And he can come out and go to roost there at night. And he can hunt either north or south. So when he hunts to the north, we can get him up here. When he hunts to the south, well, we can't find him because there's no place to park. But usually he's here in the morning, sometimes at noon, but we always make sure we come down in the morning because our sun's a little bit better. In the afternoon, it'd be right behind him as the sun would be on my lens. So We're getting uh, videos and photos. The morning is the best. So. It's 8.54 now. Better to get here around 7.30 as soon as it gets starting to get light. And it just depends on the day, how cloudy it is and everything, so. Peregrine's getting ready, high up on the perch of any bird or anything on the inner urban trail that looks vulnerable, he can just fly off of here, he's got the height advantage and nail it. We see him with pigeons, ducks, and all kinds of stuff, so. He yeah, has a perfect hunting area, that's why he's been wintering out here for the past four years. We've been keeping track of him, or her, whichever the case is. But they keep their feathers in top-notch condition, and that's one of the reasons, uh, because he's the fastest creature on the planet Earth. 240 miles an hour in the stoop. They go way up high in the sky and pull their wings back, come sailing down like a bullet, and they can nail a pigeon or whatever. That's why the falconers use them. They are great hunting birds. And they get along good to people. They're very intelligent. They're trained for falconry and they're very smart. Alright, a good looking bird too. There we are, getting those feathers all squared away this morning. Well, I think we can call that pretty much good. We'll get ready and head on down to the uh, Heritage Farm. See what's going on there this morning. I'll try to get a still shot. So we'll call that pretty much good then.